Hi, and welcome back to the Alan Bradley PLC Test Bench. Today we're going to do a little follow-up video on the triac outputs in the Alan Bradley Control Logics 1756 OA 16 output cards. Now, there's two main versions available out there. One is the version 2.3. This is one of the original versions. This particular card is from 1999. The current version is the version 3.2. Now there's a huge difference between how these cards operate on the triax. The triax in the newer cards, they realized that, Alan Bradley realized that they'd screwed up big time and used too cheap of a product in their cards in the old version 2. And they upgraded it, I think, from customer complaints on the version 3. So what I'll, we'll do is we'll set it, I'll swing around and set it up here and we'll show you how the version 2 and the version 3 cards vary on exactly the same test setup. And um, I think you'd be quite surprised and we'll, I'll give you a fix for it. It's a real pain but it does work. So back in a second. Alright, so I have a version 3.2 card inserted into the chassis at this point. And as you can see on the meter in the lower right hand corner of the screen, I have my probe plugged into channel 1 and it is about one half of a volt. I go over to channel 7, just because, and we're sitting at 1, 1.5. And we go over to channel 14, 1, 1.1. So there's not a lot of leakage out of this card. And just to show you, there is what we're tied into. Double check focus here, there we go. Um, our pilot light's on the right hand side. Now if I turn off the overhead light, as you can see, there's no leakage there at all. So we'll come back down to the chassis. And turn our power off. Move the wiring arm. Move the version 3.2 off to one side. And I have a version 2.3 with a date code of 0800. So, 8th month of 2000. Plug it in. Insert the arm, power on, and our probe is still on channel 14, and we get, as you can see in the lower right hand corner on the uh, meter, 26 volts. We go to 15, and we're at 37 volts. We'll go to... Seven, thirty-seven, twenty-seven on eight, and channel twelve is thirty-seven. <coughs> so it's all over the place. Now we'll just go back up to the pilot lights, and as you can see on the pilot lights. There, the leakage is turning them on. If I take the color caps off, just because, you can see that those are about a quarter brilliance. This is 7 and this is 15. 15, we have 37 volts. On 7, we have 37 volts. Now there's other lights, these ones up here are you can tell they're on a little bit. This one's a little bit brighter. And all cards, there's no uh, consistency to them. So if I take a resistor, and this is a 2.5K ohm resistor, uh, 2500 watt, it just happens to be a really good quality resistor. And you can see when I, I parallel it to the light, 
it goes out. So this is our load. This is what pulls the, the leakage current down to zero. We plug it in, we look at the voltage on the meter and it's 2.1 volts. So that's a standard sort of problem with these uh, series 2.3 carts. Now if we take another card, same thing, version 2.3, date code in 1999, again, go on, and we have different effects happening here. That one is output 7 is fairly bright, that's fairly dull, there's other ones on just trickling on. There's no consistency. And just as one last one, I'll take one from uh, a different supplier and from 0702, which is July 2002. Slightly newer than these cards, than the other two. And now we have really got a lot of difference. We've got 45 volts on channel 7 and 42 volts on channel 15. And you can see up here, channel 5 is really bright, and we get 47 volts, whereas on the other cards it was dull. So there's no consistency to this. Um, Alan Bradley used cheap components in their cards. To fix this, you would have to take and get better quality um, triacs and change them all out on every card. And with 16 triacs per card, if you've got 10 cards or 12 cards, there's 160 triacs. You'll be days at them. So be careful when buying version 2.3 cards. Stick if you can to the newer cards, which is version 3.2. Thanks a lot. Uh, come, hopefully this is helpful, explains uh, problems you're running into, and if you want, subscribe. Come back anytime. Thanks a lot.